Konnichiwa! Welcome to Korean Beauty Review. I'm Talia and I'm here to review all kinds of Korean beauty products. Today I'm trying the Beauty K Aqua Moisture Bomb Mask or Aqua Subun Poktan Mask. So Beauty K is a pretty new and unheard of, for the most part, brand. Um, the Aqua Moisture Bomb Mask I think is like their main sort of product that they've made. So I have a set of 10 masks, I haven't looked at them yet, and it's essentially just a plain sheet mask. You leave it on for 30 minutes, um, that's pretty much it, just like any other standard sheet mask. What I think I'll do is I'll actually use these sort of a few times across maybe just this week or maybe in the next two weeks and see what the outcome is. What I can see is the active two ingredients are the fermented extract and the rice bran. So, both meant to be really good for your skin. So let's open it up and see how the individual masks look. That's the outer packaging there. And if we open it up, it's got 10 masks inside. This is what they each look like. So it just looks like the box. So like most sheet masks, you're meant to start with toner. Um, I've obviously got like makeup on and I need to wash my hair, so I'm just I'm just gonna go have a shower. Take all of this off, come back and give them a go and just see see how we feel. I'm back and I'm further forward because the cat's on the chair. Thanks, Toggy. I've washed my hair, don't mind this. So let's try. It smells quite nice. What do you think this smells like? Good. It's quite jelly, gel like the moisture. Oh, it's a woven mask. I really like woven masks. I swear they like seem to go into the skin a lot better. Oh, cold! Okay, the eyes are quite small, aren't they? With sheet masks, the problem I find, a lot of people seem to need hydration around the nose. You know, you get a lot of that redness um, and dryness. And sheet masks just never seem to cater for the space here around the nose, which is where I want it. Oh, okay, I think I've got something in my eye. Oh, no. I've got some gel in my eye. But, I mean, overall size isn't too bad. I, I do really like the woven... Um, Masks, it feels a lot softer on the skin. Oh, the inside looks like holographic. Ooh, that eye is gonna stay closed for a while, sorry. <laughs> a derp video. But um, I'm gonna leave this on for half an hour and I will be back. So I'll see you in half an hour. I'm back and Toki is still on the chair, so. Here's the mask after half an hour. You can see like quite a lot of it's like dried up and lifted. So like the, the mustache piece and like around my eyes. There's still quite a bit of moisture. In the cheeks and down around. <sighs> so let's tap the remaining essence sort of into my skin and I'll finish up with the rest of my skincare shortly. There doesn't seem to be like anything harsh whatsoever, it's just really soothing and it, it re felt really nice. I think that makes a big difference, the cloth material. Every sheet mask I use, the cloth ones just feel so much nicer straight away. Felt nice on the whole time. It's absorbing quite quickly into the skin. Not. It's a little, a little bit sticky, but not bad. So it, it does feel quite hydrated, and I think it looks quite hydrated as well. So after just one use, I am really liking it. You can see, oh man, I look tired. And um, pretty strong too. You know, some sheet masks kind of would rip if you do this. Oh, this is tough. Ooh, this is resistant. I actually really like it. It absorbed really nicely. Um, it definitely did absorb into the skin, not just sit on top. Um, and you can see and feel that, I think. So it's definitely something that I'm liking. I think a lot of people sort of mix it up between which face masks they use, but I will just be using this one. One use is really good. Um, I will be back at some point. I don't think I need to update you every single time I use a mask, but I'll see you again shortly and let you know how I'm finding it. I'm back, it's been two weeks. Hey, Hodgin. I've got this really awkward setup going on with my camera on like my makeup desk in front of me because, oh uh, yeah, things are pretty insane right now. But update, update time. I'm kind of mixed and I don't really know why because from the first um, impression, I still think like they're really nice quality. They feel really, really nice on the skin. The shape isn't the best, it does actually, seem to leave my skin like really dewy and hydrated directly afterwards um, which does continue into the next day as well first time i used it it was like drying up a little bit but uh, that might have just been like a dry day or something because that hasn't really happened since apart from the shape i don't really think i have anything negative to say about it i don't think it's made like um a massive improvement 
um, but it does make an immediate improvement after you use it which is different to quite a few sheet masks I feel they don't really absorb into the skin so well um, but this one did I did take a video of my skin this morning but the thing with sheet masks is it's an ongoing thing it's not like it doesn't make a lasting difference so it's kind of hard to show like an improvement over two weeks things that you've just got to keep doing for maintaining the overall well-being of your skin and for the future you know what I'm saying you sort of thought it hurt a bit right I didn't feel like it hurt at all um, I, I thought that might be because he doesn't do anything to his skin at all <laughs> it's super super dry <laughs> so I think it was kind of just reacting to that like didn't doesn't hurt after using it a couple of times so the more he used it there it got which is also a sign I think it's not the ingredients because as I've said in previous videos I do have sensitive skin so uh, I don't think it's anything to do with the ingredients I think it's more that his skin was just way too dry so what would I rate this considering I haven't seen this anywhere in New Zealand and I don't know how much it retails for $3.5 per mask yeah. okay that's pretty cheap that's not that's like standard, that's like Universe average sort of price. Okay, so it's a nice mid-range um, price if it's about $3.50 a mask each in Korea and New Zealand dollars. The, the quality of the mask itself, the cloth is really nice and it does make an immediate like impact compared to a lot of others. I don't know, the, the shape of it is um, a little... it puts me off, but I do like the actual product. I think if they improved the shape of it, that would be like perfect. It was like it would be really good. Okay, yeah, I think eight out of ten. Eight out of ten. I think yeah, the biggest thing would be if they improved the shape compared to others of the same price range. I think it's really good. Um, it's comparable to the J June masks, I think, because um, I have used a couple of those before. The the feeling of the material is similar. Uh, really nice, high quality. So. Eight? Eight out of ten? Improve the shape and I'll give you higher BDK. Yeah, so that's, that's, that's pretty much it. My finger is potentially broken, I'm not entirely sure. So editing it is difficult, everything is difficult. I have to pack for moving and that's difficult. But yeah, I'll see you next time. Thank you for watching. Please make sure to hit subscribe if you haven't already and hit the thumbs up if you like this video and I'll see you next time. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And you can say ah. Bye bye.